Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Lloyd Fernandez here with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm a local real estate agent in York, Lancaster, Harrisburg, and Adams County. If you know anybody looking for a home <coughs> or looking to sell a home, please send them my way and I'd love to help them get them where they need to be. All right, guys. This video is entitled Communication. All right, guys? So for you entrepreneurs out there or inspiring entrepreneurs or real estate agents or just people that are watching in general communication is super super important especially nowadays right let's face it guys we're in an era where communication skills are very low so many people are on their phones and and communicate through emails communicate through text messages there's not too many people. I mean, yeah, people call, but I'm saying this, you know, on a regular basis, on a day-to-day -day basis, there's not too many people making phone calls anymore. Face-to-face uh, -face isn't as much as it used to be. Uh, when you're doing, doing, doing any um, work, you can work from home in a lot of industries now. So communication is lacking, right? And it's going to continue to get worse as time goes on, right? But how important are, are communication skills in in real estate, in, in any industry, when you're in selling, in, in sales, right? Sorry, in sales. How important is that, guys? It's very super important. Having a high level of communication skills will separate you from the other salesmen, uh, salespeople. And it can determine whether you're gonna be successful or not. You gotta remember, guys, communication skills is pretty much man i'm gonna say 70 to 80 percent of it if you ask me that's my opinion when i think back of all my past and my transactions and everything because you could be good at you know everything um contracts you could be the man you could be the best agent around town right but if you have no zero communication skills how are you gonna get clients Cause as soon as somebody talks to you and they're like man this dude is awkward or this dude sucks like he or i don't like him you know they're not gonna want to work with you they're just not people people buy off of emotion most of the time they go with their, their gut their feeling and if you have poor communication skills then that's not going to put you in line to, to make that sell with those people you got to understand that Okay, it's not about being super duper with the contracts. I mean, yeah, obviously you want to be good. You want to be competent. You want to represent your clients. Absolutely. That's not, I'm not saying not to do those things. But what I'm saying is when you're putting things of importance on your to-do list or, or on your priority list, communication, when you're talking about sales, communication is super important. That's what a sales person is supposed to have. The, the, you know, that's their skill. You know, like, you know, you have... A welder they're skilled at welding and you have um, a carpenter they're skilled at woodwork you know you have your different industries we're sales people we have to be good at communication that's our skill correct and sales so guys in this day and age a lot of people are lacking man and the generations coming up they're they're worse and it's just getting worse and worse People are awkward around each other. People are awkward to talk to a stranger or just somebody they don't to approach people. People are, you know, scared to do that. There's so much anxiety with that with people and, and they don't know what to say and they just make it awkward. And if you know you want to separate yourself from everybody else, get your communication skills up. There's a lot of things, man, a lot. Whether you you know, about communication, whether it's your, you know, because words is like 20 percent of it you know you got the body language you got the tonality which is way more important than the words you know people don't even realize that they think it's all about the words no yeah you you, you need to get better at your words and, and the flow and the words you use absolutely and and how to engage and all of that stuff but you also got to be good with your practice practice your your um, tonality practice your body language you want to you want to get in front of a mirror and you want to practice. And people are like, what the hell? That sounds crazy as hell. It's not crazy, right? Because this is your skill, okay? When a, when a welder's welding, 
right? They 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 practice welding before they went out there and started welding shit up, right? So why you as a salesperson can't practice with in front of a mirror your skill? Okay, you got to role play, right? Another exercise that I would recommend is, um, you know, putting yourself on on a test every day, you know? People, you know, if you're scared to talk to people and you're like, man, I just, man, stop the bullshit. You got to go horns in, man. Like, you want to change. You want to be successful. You better get used to being on, in uncomfortable situations. So if you're afraid of something, put yourself in it. Because nobody's good at anything when they first try. You know, when you're getting into entrepreneurship and you're getting into, let's say you're, being, you're going to be a realtor, you know, sales, you're making a, a life change of things that you're normally not doing for the last, you know, 20, 30, 40 years. You're, you're, you're doing new things. You're putting yourself in, in situations that you didn't put yourself in for, the, for those years. So, of course... You're going to lack the skills and you're not going to be great and you're going to feel awkward and you're you're going to be uncomfortable and, and all of this. But guess what? Right. When you think about all that, I'm going to be uncomfortable. I'm going to be awkward. But if you don't do it, you're never going to make it in what you're trying to do. So either you got two decisions to make. Either I'm going to do this or I'm not. Because if you're going to say I'm going to do this, but I don't want to put myself in those situations. You're not going to do it. I don't know. You, you got like some crazy fantasy thing going on with your brain right now. Like seriously, seriously. You have to be able to talk to strangers. You have to be able to talk and, and make the conversation go well where they don't feel awkward, pressured. I mean, you got to work on your skills, communication communication skills. You you know, a, t a good test to, to do what I was trying to say was challenge yourself. Say, I'm going to talk to three strangers a day. I'm going to talk to four or five. Just every day, I'm going to talk to two, three, four, five strangers, no matter what. I don't care how awkward it goes. And you know what? Just engage. Just engage. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things I can suggest how to engage, you know, without being a weirdo and, and feeling coming off like a weirdo. But, you know, you can study that, man. Go online and, and look and study. Study your skills. I don't know why realtors out there don't want to study their skills. It's not the contracts and all that. Yeah, you're going to know that. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's not simple, but it, you know, it's pretty basic. It's not something that you have to constantly be doing. Yeah, we learn every day new things in real estate. Yeah, of course. But you have to work on sales and you have to work on communication, which leads into prospect. When you prospect, you have to have good communication. So you have to practice these skills. That's why you got scripts. That's why so many mentors, I mean, um, coaches and, and people out there that um, do realtors uh, training, um, you know, like the Mike Ferries and, and everybody else out there, they got scripts and you're supposed to practice them and, and not just practice the words like, hi, how are you? This is their local real estate agent. I work with buyers and sellers, not like that. You got to work on selling what you're saying, saying it, what type of t tonality, what type of body language in front of the mirror, saying it as if you were practicing to say it to somebody else. And if you can't face yourself in the mirror and, and be able to speak like that and, 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 you know, look at yourself and your tonality and your body language, then how do you expect somebody else to look at you and listen to you if you can't even do it yourself? You know, you got to be smiling. You got to be you got to bring you got to bring positive energy. You don't want to bring negative energy. And if you can't do that to yourself in front of a mirror, then you damn sure ain't doing that when you're out there talking to people. You know, a lot of people walk around this angry face if you're out there walking around in an angry face who's gonna want to buy something from you what kind of vibe are you giving everybody's mostly on a a lot of people are usually on a that vibe nowadays because of social media and the lack of communications it's like leave me alone standoffish and if you bring that standoffish um energy how do you expect to sell them anything you know you got to come with a positive energy you got to overcome that energy you got to bring them into your your positive energy and bring them up so when you're done talking to that person that person's feeling you know, happy and, and motivated, or not motivated, but they're feeling, you know, better. You know, usually when I talk to people, um, strangers or whatever, you know, by the time I'm done talking to them, they seem to be in a better mood. Immediately when I get in there, a lot of times, not every time, but a lot, they're not in a good mood, you know? And, um, hey, I'm prepared for that. I practice for that. I'm used to it. Got experience in that. And I'm able to 
you know, most of the time, not every time, but most of the time I'm able to get them out of that. And then by the time I leave the door, they're, they're smiling and they're happy. Versus when I knocked on that door or when I first started talking to them, they were angry. They looked like they didn't want to be bothered having a rough day, you know? And if you're walking around with that, you're not going to be approached. Like you, you trying to, you're, you're a real estate agent or you're an entrepreneur and you want to sell something, but you got that, you walk around with that face, you need to stop and practice smiling. Practice smiling. Smiling, try to be angry when you smile. I mean, that's almost impossible, right? You got to just smile, not fake smile. I mean, you know, a, a real smile, a genuine smile and, and practice smiling and, and being in a better mood, you know? Put yourself to the test. Like, you know, when you feel like, um, you're thinking negative, you're feeling like you're just standoffish, smile. Just say, all right, time to smile. And, you know, slowly, progressively over time, you'll get better. You'll get better and you smile and, 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 and approach people, you know, talk to strangers, you know, use situational things to start the conversation. Don't just go in and say, hey, how, you know, hey, how you doing? Like, that's a little weird. Or... You know, if you're a guy like saying, oh, you're you're beautiful, you're hot to a girl. I mean, that just don't work. I mean, say something that's going on. If they're holding, you know, like got something in their hand that you're like, oh, that, that that's, you know, you're in the store or something. Hey, oh, yeah, I see you got that. Oh, I just wanted to say that, you know, that I got that. I, it, it, it's really nice. I, I use it a lot. And then this conversation usually flows. You know, let them do the, you know, asking you questions at, after that point. Don't keep on asking them and being weird. You know, you make your entrance, you say something, and if they respond back, then you keep it going in a nice flow. If they don't say anything after you said that, there's a, then you leave them alone, you know? But you gotta, gotta learn how to spark that conversation up with people, okay? You gotta work on your skills. Communication skills is, whew, man, if you don't have communication skills, to be honest, I don't even see how you can make it being in sales. I just, I just don't. Um, so, yeah, guys, you know, work on that. You also want to match the person. You know, if they say hello, you want to say hello. If they say hello, you don't want to say hi. You know, they say hello, you say hello. I'm Lloyd. You know, there's a lot of little things that you need to learn to, to operate on a high level. You don't just operate on a high level just by, oh, shit, I woke up today and I'm a, I'm a high level salesperson. Like, no, you got to work on your skills. All right, so don't be scared to work on your skills as a salesman, which is communication and sales. I know how to close things of that. I made another video about that. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please comment at the bottom. If you want me, you want to see me do any, if you want to see me do any videos or any topics or anything like that, comment at the bottom. Come on, guys, click the subscribe, click it, stop playing, click it. I got a lot of good content. I make advice on real estate uh, for buyers and sellers and entrepreneurs and real estate agents, and I do workout tips. So there's a lot of good information here on my channel. Keep tuning in, keep watching guys. Practice on your communication skills. Get your skills up, period. As a, as a real estate agent or an entrepreneur, you wanna have high level of communication, especially moving into the future where people are gonna keep getting, their the people's normal communication skills are gonna get lower and lower as technology makes it easier for people to communicate without actually speaking. So for you to have a high level of communication, speaking to people is gonna, that's gonna put you where you need to be. Cause it's gonna separate you from the masses, right? They're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna stick out, you know? That's what you want. All right, guys, I wish you luck. I wish you success and I wish you good health. Bye-bye.